Greetings Space Cadets and welcome back for another Minecraft survival episode. In today's episode we're finally going to replace our smelting system. At the moment since we started we've had just the basic system, just two furnaces and just a set of hoppers and fuel behind it, uh, just in the chest up the top here. And of course that just leads in through a set of hoppers that are all full behind. But today we're finally going to um, fire up this furnace room. Now I showed you in the last episode that I had hollowed out a massive space behind because we're going to have a line of furnaces on this side and a line of furnaces on that side. And what we're going to do in today's episode is we're going to build both sides. We might not get them decorated, uh, but we're going to build the actual basic system here and put all the redstone in, all the hoppers which requires a phenomenal amount. Uh, and this is also going to be in two parts. Uh, we're going to do the actual system today on both sides with the input and output chests, but we have a space underneath here and we're going to build a basic um, sorting system, which will basically sort fuel from uh, things to be smelted. So the idea is in the end, up here, there'll be an output chest, so anything will come back and land up here. And there'll also be an input chest and all of the things that we input, whether it's things to be smelted or the fuel, will all just get chucked into one chest and then get filtered out between the two sides. Um, I think I've dug out enough for everything. I think I've calculated everything we need. I'll show you all the things that we're going to need today. See, this is everything that you need to paint along with us today. Um, I've got enough here in theory to build both sides, which I've separated into two, uh, into each three, three rows. So we'll need uh, 23 furnaces on either side, uh, two comparators, 16 repeaters. Uh, I've got two chests, uh, two tra tra uh, four, four trap chests, because with trap chests you can put items in and it doesn't start drawing them out until you've actually um, closed the chest. Uh, we need uh, four redstone torches. We'll need a good chunk of redstone. Uh, I've got some tools in there as well because we're just going to um, put some temporary blocks in dotted around as we go. Uh, these two blocks here, the dirt and the uh, chisel cobblestone, they're just for decoration. Um, just for the way I've, I've chosen to, uh, to, to decorate our uh, system. We have what I hope is enough, um, just under two stacks of hoppers. Uh, it requires a lot of hoppers for this one. Um, I'll try to think, I did calculate, sit down and calculate roughly how much iron, and I think it was something like 1,900 iron and 1,100 wood as well, because you've got to build all the chests to go with that. Uh, we've got some diorite here. Um, these are what we're going to put our redstone on, just because we've got tons of um, the polished diorite in the chests here and if we don't use it for something we're never going to use it at all so it's just sitting there so we'll use that to put our redstone on. Uh, we've also got here 33 decorative blocks but these are required. These will be displayed from the front so choose a block that you like. Uh, we need 33 of those for each side. Uh, next up as well we've got some um, again for the, the bottom row here is just the decorations so for our decorations we're going to put um, a stone brick stairs along the bottom. We're going to surround, do the surrounds in spruce wood. Uh, from the top, we've got some dark oak slabs, and um, we've got things like polished granite and um, some more diorite as well, just for any other decorations or any spare blocks that we need. And then we've got um, our andesite that we're going to use as well as part of the decoration. But th this row here is just purely decorative. Uh, same goes for this row here on the second one there. I've got some dirt for temporary blocks, uh, but these are the blocks that you will require. These ones are flexible to what you choose, but uh, these are 100% required, and these ones just need simply in the numbers that we've got here. So let's get some of this in. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put the line of stairs along the front, we'll get the furnaces. Um, let's put the hoppers down there as well, and we'll get to our output chest. I think we'll put the output chest down first. So we're going to do this side first, and then we'll do that side. There may be a couple of little cuts because I'm going off my hand-drawn notes that I made for this, uh, so I might have to pause briefly, but uh, I will not place any blocks off camera. There may be a little cut, but every single block will get placed on camera so that you can see if you wish to build this system yourself. And that goes as well for the mirror, because uh, sometimes it can get a bit confusing when you're trying to mirror it. So uh, we will build that as well. Uh, as I will do all the decoration, well, the main part of the decoration uh, last just so that we can see the systems working. Um, this system also, as I say, is based on El Mango design, but I've had to make a couple of little modifications for, uh, I don't know if it's because of the Aquatics update or if it's because I'm using the Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. Uh, it might be slightly different, uh, so I've had to change some of the timings. Uh, you'll also notice as well, I've carved out a floor space. This is what's going to be the floor eventually. 
uh, once I put it in. I carved it out whilst I still had our uh, hole digger uh, diamond pickaxe, which is gone now. It's uh, too expensive to repair. Uh, but we'll leave this blank, and I don't know quite what I'll do with the floor yet, but uh, we'll sort that out in, a, in the next episode, maybe. So let's pop our steps down. Well, that's going to be a bit awkward putting those in there. We've lit up this place. Uh, we're not going to have many torches in here. We're going to take the risk once it's built that we won't get too many mobs spawning. Plus, I'll probably put a gate at the top there just in case it all goes uh, disastrously. That's us down to the bottom of there. Let's get another one of our decorative stones. I know I was going to save this till last, but we ended up doing these first. So we're going to have two of those there. This is our output chest. So I'm putting that down first so that I can lay our first line of hoppers. So to put my hoppers down, we just want to crouch so that we don't go into them. And that's the, the lines connect to that. And then we just simply come back crouching and tapping every time. There's going to be a lot of crouch placing things in this just because there's so many interactive objects that we're working with. Just check that, I put that down, did I? No, I did, I put that in the right direction. There we go, so that will drop everything off. Now we'll crouch and we'll work our way back, putting all of our furnaces in. And there we go, so that'll be what the line is going to look like going down here. <laughs> so we're quite impressive once this fires up. Let's get a shot of that and let's just clear that out of our inventory with the last of those decorative stones. And then, I'll tell you what, we will grab the dirt because I have a feeling we're going to um, we're going to need some uh, stones to, or some blocks rather, to step up. So we'll keep on piling these up along here just so that we can um, place our objects. And we'll also need this decorative one as well. So next up, let's walk back along here again and crouch. And this time we're going to aim the hoppers into the furnaces. So pop all these along here. Hopefully I've built enough. Uh, we're a bit short on wood. We do have a good supply of jungle wood though, so if all else fails, we'll just have to use up uh, our jungle wood. Because uh, I found it actually another biome closer, um, just for us getting it uh, easier. Oops. So that's what happens when you don't crouch. Right, and then uh, next, this, stock, uh, this block rather is a decorative block that is required because we're going to put redstone across the top. So we'll just slowly make that across there. Pop a few of those down. I so said this particular lock can be anything that you like, but it, it is required. There we go. It's gonna be quite an impressive structure once this all fires up. Right, tell you what, let's just uh, grab these tools, because we're gonna start needing some tools shortly. And we'll take the redstone out as well. We might as well run the redstone, the first lot of redstone along whilst we're at it. So this just simply unbroken line all the way along the top here. There we go. Right, let's go and grab uh, some of our diorite for placing some of our other redstone. Get a few of that in there as well. You know, might as well take everything that uh, we have for the first one. And then we'll come back to the second one when we're ready. So next we're going to place another line of hoppers. So we're going to do more crouching. And these ones are going directly in to the back. This is our things to be smelted. Let's grab that torch. So next we're going to place... Um, Actually, we're going to have to go to the other end out so we can climb back on top. Sc 
Oop, all the way down here. I place a dirt block in there so that we can place this block on top. Actually, I don't think that's right there. Let's um, just clear that for a minute there. There should be one, two. And then we get the comparator for the output there for this line. Yeah, that's right. And then what we're going to do is crouch and just look for the target box there. And we'll make sure that's going into there. So that will then point into this box. We're actually going to have to take this wall out as well. So let's crouch and come along here. There's so many hoppers, it just gets a little bit confusing in the middle there. And also my diagram is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> so pop all these in here. I'm hoping I've got enough of these. We may have to uh, to build some more. So let's run all the way back to the end here. And yeah, I think we have to take out a, another little bit of wall. Let's see, we've got that there. Tell you what, let's just put some dirt as well so we can see what we're doing. Get rid of that. And we're one block short with our original excavation. Just get these out of the way and then we'll um, build it properly later on. So next we need to turn this signal around a little bit. So we'll put, um, get rid of that there. Too close to an atom, pop that there. And then we'll place one block of diorite on top. Get a shot of that for a minute. And that one. And we'll stick our, stick another block down there. And stick a small bit of redstone coming out of here. A little bit more light down so we can see what we're doing. So we'll place another block there. This is the confusing bit right at the very end here with the redstone. Let's see, so that goes up there, that goes up there. Pop a torch on there so there should be a two gap here. Uh, I've got my redstone coming out there and we will stick our repeater there for the minute. Right, so we're going to place that there, get rid of that temporary block and then one block down we'll place that and then we'll place our second comparator and we will invert that one. So as the signal comes down here with what's in it uh, that'll get, um, that'll read that there's something in there and the items can drop down. So now opposite that, yep, so that then goes into that block. Put a drop of redstone on top, and this one, if you can, there you go. So pop that one just there. And then we'll place uh, another repeater, just set in the default setting. And is that our loopback setup? Uh, this is the confusing bit I find, just to make sure you've got all these signals going in the right directions. So that goes back there, and let's just place Place that one there like that. Get rid of that. And of course that will drop down into here. <laughs> Let's reclaim that. Click the litter. And then we'll go and place the more hoppers along the top. So there we go. Up here. And these ones go into... I think I may have built this one block too, too low. Yep, we've built this one block too low. Let's just clear all this out. And start again with this bit. <laughs> now we had a little bit of accident with the redstone there, building it one layer too low. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put some dirt blocks in here. And the bit that was causing the confusion was really because I hadn't put these hoppers in yet. Um, this hopper is going to be facing in this direction. So we'll just put a temporary block down there and we'll just walk back. Place these all the way to the end. At least if we're crouching we won't have to worry about falling off the back of this. So 
so that leaves us with four so we'll just extend these out and we'll just put our trap chests on the top as well just so that they're uh, they're in place ready with the new mechanics you've got to be very careful where you place these there we go so that will be our input for fuel this will be our input for things to be smelted uh, let's have some meat before we continue right so let's head back down the bottom and see if we can fix the redstone that we messed up <laughs> Uh, I think we're going to have to, because I've I built it one level too low, so let's just quickly knock out these, being very, very careful of this corner, actually, because... Uh... Ooh, we've got away of it. Yeah, so I've blocked up some of this, because this actually leads into a river, because right, we're quite close to the surface here. build a little bit of a scaffold for us just so that we can get across a bit more let's get rid of that and replace it with a block that's going to stay there so okay let's um, pop our repeater facing into that block uh, we'll just stick a couple of slabs of diorite just on top because that's what's going to go in there we'll pop the redstone on top and then next we will try again to build the cross that we need just to uh, relay the signal. So put that there and that there. Get shot of that block. Then we want a comparator facing that way and invert it. Pop a drop of redstone on top. And then we come down out one. And pop that there pop that there get shot of that one then we want a block here and a oops a comparator there and of course we're gonna have to get all this stuff out of all these hoppers as well aren't we because <laughs> it's all of our tools we may have a slight miscount on some of our things just because we've lost some of our tools inside of uh, inside of hoppers as we're building okay so now this section is complete let's pop one stone down there I didn't mean to get rid of that one. <laughs> so we're going to shift that because we popped it in the wrong box. And now we've lost it inside. Ah, here we go. Hopefully we'll do all right on the mirrored one. Uh, skip ahead to the mirrored one on the other side where everything will get placed down in the correct order the first time round. So, right, let's pop that on there without that pop one there stick a die right in there uh, put that back in there <laughs> this is all going incredibly badly and then we'll stick that one in there now pop that here a bit of redstone on there and we'll just do that going back there just for a second until we make sure that we've got this all in the right spots so let's see we've got a cross bit of there and let's get the litter up and we've got this bit here so that should send a signal into there which will send a signal across to here and we need the bottom levels done as well so Let's just get rid of our temporary blocks so that we can get back in. Take out that block there. And then we want to run a little bit of redstone across here. Okay, now before we forget as well, let's pop our redstone torch under there. So the signal comes in here and then gets passed up there and passed back over here. 
So for the next bit, we're now going to start running a line along the bottom here. So we're going to stick this in here and we're going to put that at two ticks. The rest of these ground ones, just leave them as the default, uh, as that seems to be the way it works in uh, the bedrock edition here. So we're going to put a block on top of there and yeah, that's, that's lined up with that. That goes into there and we'll just lay these out along the ground here first. So we've got, that will have that there and one, two, block. One, two, block, 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 and put a block there. And then, as I said, these ones, just lay these out with the default time. You don't need to worry about changing them. Pop these going along here. And then I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll run the redstone along here. So we've got each one of these, so it's powering the block in front all the way to the end. Uh, and then we'll run back down the bottom. <laughs> uh, we're going to place a block on top each time. Actually, yeah, we can just face down because you can put it straight on top of the redstone. Oops. We just have to crouch to pop these down as well. So that's those ones, and then we're going to put a drop of redstone on each of these running in between, and that's just back down to the bottom, so that's that bottom line powered. And then just for one of the later stages, uh, we're also going to need a block there and a block there, but we'll get onto that shortly. Uh, just because we need to power these hoppers on the, the lines on the top here and uh, it just gets a little bit awkward because the, the pacing makes it look uh, a little bit off and uh, then just from the end there so in this gap here this is the shape that you should have so it just comes up with these little bumps each time so that one's going to be a four though then you've got a gap where it's just a two then a four together then a two and then this one is offset by one and that's just so that we can send the, the signal along this top line, which is what we're going to do now. So what we're going to do is get our redstone and just crouch and we'll slowly move along here. Place a little bit of redstone here and then crouch and place a repeater. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Pop those there and then pop a repeater. The first one, I should just say how many gaps was that? That was five. Um, the indoor temperature is 90.8 degrees Celsius. Please stay cool and relax. But basically what you want is every time that we have these two blocks that are next to it, we want the repeater next to it here. Uh, we're not putting any ticks of delay on here as well. So let's pop that one there so it's in line with that block and just roll this back and take that all the way to the end right so that's looking good so far now here's another complicated bit coming up because we have to build a string of repeaters running all the way along here as well in such a manner that it doesn't affect the correct lines of the blocks this is where it gets really weird so we have the two blocks that we brought out here and we want to go redstone redstone but we don't want this situation here where these are connecting so we're going to take our diorite and we're going to put it here and the same on that side then we'll pop two blocks here and a block back so it makes a nice little little cavern for the redstone as it were so place that there and then a repeater going out and we're going to repeat this going all the way along pretty much uh, let's just pop one more piece there and we need to get rid of this one and then we run it out by four every time and then we drop down pop our bricks there and repeat it 
should say as well <coughs> should say as well as we're building this um we need to pop uh, two ticks or two clicks rather of uh, delay onto each of these as well just before we forget <coughs> i'll be wondering later on why it's not working so we'll pop that in there we want another block oh, we'll, we'll clear that block in a minute uh, i think we could do a little bit more light whilst we're working and yep so that's that section built so you come along for two on either side and then this little offset one with redstone all the way so we've got one two three four and we're going to clear this block out and hopefully it won't go into the hopper right so one two and that's that stack of diorite finished let's pop another one in there one, two, and then we'll stick our redstone in. Hopefully, we're going to have enough redstone here. <laughs> if not, we have, we have loads of chests of it. So let's carefully pop that in there, and then pop that one in there. One, two. Oops. Three, four. Remember to crouch all the way when you're doing this. Uh, pop two there, and then to break up these electrical lines, we'll pop these in here. Another drop on there. And then we want our repeater. Uh, we'll carefully pop that in there. And. If we just make the hitbox there you go and then pop that there and we'll just stick our last two redstones across there so yep we we definitely counted that one accurately so is that <coughs> uh so let's just hop back as well because we even though we said don't forget we forgot to put the um <laughs> the d ticks of delay on those ones there Let's run all the way down at the bottom. Uh, nope, there's no way for me to get back up there easily. <laughs> so there we go, we've got ticks of delay in there, and that one's already got them. Uh, let's see if we can scoop down here, and that one has... Yep, that one's got the right number of ticks of delay as well there. So I think this is the basic mechanism. Let's have a quick run down the bottom there, and uh, just see if anything has been passed doesn't look like it right so i think because we had a few little hiccups in that one i think we should possibly test this before we go any further so let's go get some uh, coal i should have really brought some of this and put it in the other box but we'll uh, we'll steal some coal from uh, from here just one stack for now we have lots of potatoes in one of these boxes. Not those ones. Not those ones. Ah, there we go. So we'll take one stack of that and one stack of that. And see what happens. So if all this works, uh, let's see which side is which again. So this one is our fuel. So tell you what, in case this goes pear-shaped, so there you go. See, having the trap test means it doesn't automatically get drawn away. But you can see there, it's starting to count down. Now, if this all works, let's just have a scoot down the back and see if we can see any pulsing. So there you go, something got dropped there. And it should have a second one. It takes about 10 seconds or so for it to come along. So there we go, so the signal was sent. Now, let's see if any of these... Yep, so that's got two... They've got one, but that's probably because we put a half stack in. So that's a good sign that these have got. Down to, oh, actually, this highlights a, an error uh, or a possible uh, problem that you could have. Really, you need to have large quantities. Ooh, hang on. That's got two in there and one in there. Right. We will have to have a look at some of the timings on this again. We may take away all of the... Um, yeah, I think we're going to have to take away all of the ticks of delay. That was an issue I had where, where items weren't going in to be smelted. Um, so let's see if we get the correct lines. So we've got this one here. This is the, this is the line for... 
So that's got two ticks, ticks of delay. Tell you what, let's pop those in there. And let's pop that in there. So then if we stick the last of that in there, and if we come over here, let's see if we can see it when it changes. So, yep, so that's set the signal down. So that's got three. That's got three. That should have four. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. So, yeah, we'll just uh, make sure we reset those ticks of delay there. And those ones have three. Fingers crossed that that's going to work. So now let's put our potatoes in. So again, let's just put a half stack in first. Right, so there's something wrong with this one because that one's getting stuff instantly. So I might have something in the wrong position. And uh, let's see once it gets to the end. Right, so something's gone wrong on this one. So nothing's getting passed in. Have a quick run back here, unless right, so everything has been pushed into that first one, uh, and yes, it did come out into that chest. So what have we messed up right at the very beginning? Is there a chest in the wrong place? Uh, sorry, a hopper in the wrong place. So things are going in there, they're coming along, and they're just instantly dropping into this one. Ah, I see what the problem is there. Let's see if we hop up here. We haven't powered these lines properly. So where we've got each of these four, the one at the back should be all right. Let's see the redstone signal. Yeah, you see the redstone signal there. So the first two four where we have our input output side, uh, the second from the end, we'll put a redstone torch there and a redstone torch there. And let's see what happens this time. Um, so let's put half a stack of potatoes in there again and see what happens. Yep, so that one hasn't been, uh, hasn't had one drop in straight away. So let's see what happens once it gets to the end. And there we go, that's the entire line all there uh, firing up to cook our potatoes. Let's just have a quick scan down the bottom here. And see how quickly all these come in. So there we go, that's really not a, a really nice rate for getting a return. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's that side complete. <laughs> So we had quite a few mess ups there, uh, and next we have to mirror it on this side. Let's see how many blocks did we have spare. Um, that's mainly decorative blocks, that's fine. We'll deal with decorative stuff later on. But I'll tell you what, just to save a little bit of confusion, let's just get a shot of everything that we didn't use from that one. We'll stick, put that there so we can find it. Uh, I don't think we really need the torches right now. But I'll tell you what, we will get the shovel. Uh, we will get shot of our construction materials. Uh, was there any more down the bottom? There we go. So there we are. So that's our first row smelt there is working perfectly. And if that's the orientation you want, then brilliant. Uh, next we're going to build this side. And hopefully we're going to do it with out as many screw-ups as what we had on that side. Uh, I think it all descended from, I just made it on the, uh, one of the things are just on the wrong level. Um, but there we go, let's uh, get our second set of materials. Actually, let's get a shot of bits and bobs that we don't really need. Don't need a sword down here. Uh, next up, we will get all the materials we're going to need for this side. We'll not bother with the decoration blocks just yet. We can come back to those later. Uh, I will take the dirt blocks though, because they'll come in handy. And oh yeah, we'll need this chisel stone as well, just for the spacing. So, let's have a bite to eat before we start. Uh, I did pick up the stairs. No, I didn't pick up the stairs, because that's what we're going to start with first. So, we got a nice row of these. Course, you don't have to use stairs if you don't want to you can you can use anything you want you don't even have to have anything there uh, i just uh, for the look that i want this to have when i'm finished um that's why that's why we're putting them on there 
Um, debating that as well, I think we must have some like a chandelier light sort of suspended from the bottom because I'd like this room to be quite dim because I'd like it just to be lit by the furnaces. So let's pop our other decorative blocks there. And here. And then we want our regular chest, don't we? Get a shot of that. So we've got that in there. And then we will come along from here. Remember to crouch just to pop these in here. And almost at the end. There we go. And then we will place our furnaces on top. Slow process. And we get stuck on the decoration. Slowly pop all of these down. I'm quite pleased that we had the correct number of um, hoppers. I was worried that I hadn't made enough. So it was uh, basically two stacks for either side. Uh, but we will need a hell of a lot more because of the system we're going to embed underneath here. So next up, let's um, do more of our crouching as we come along here. Place all of these in. Crouching is the present participle of crouch. Crouch is usually defined as bend one's back forward from the waist on down. Of course, we didn't bring any tools, did we? We've left them all in the chest. Right, let's go and grab our tools. <laughs> I see the Alexa in the background there. Listening to our every word. We're going to need a, um, a pickaxe anyway, aren't we? Because we're going to have to take this wall out because we were one, one wall too short in my original calculations. So when you get to the end of the furnaces, you need one, two, three at the end there. How's the wear on this? That's got plenty on it. There we go. So that's our space on the end there, clear. Right, now let's place our line of hoppers going into the back here. And that finishes that row. So next, if we double check on our other side to see what we should have. Next, we need. Uh, I think we'll put the diorite down for this end piece first, uh, just so then we can use that to feed the hoppers back over. Then it saves us having to put extra blocks down. Oh, we also need um, to pop our other decoration block down, don't we? So I tell you what, we'll, we'll run the hoppers into the top, and then we can put our other decoration block down. So these ones go straight down. all these along here that's that stack uh, used up so one stack does go quite away I suppose so then we have that in there then if we run all the way down at the bottom uh, we will place our decorative block ones pop that one in there Get around that. Of course, this is the line that we're going to have our redstone run along. And another couple back. Did we build it all the way at the end? No, we didn't. So we've mirrored that on there. We did pick up the redstone, yeah. yeah we might as well run the redstone down whilst we're going down there. See if us making multiple trips back and forth. Right, so that's that part done. So for our next one, let's pop a construction block there. A block of diorite there, so we can see we're going to make our cross here. So let's get a shot of that. And is that opposite? Yes it is. And I'll tell you what, we'll get our... where are they? There they are. 
just so we can use the um, there we go <laughs> and then we'll be able to use the hitbox just on the end of there to place that on the top there and then we want our next comparator coming straight out of there now did we have yep so there's nothing on the furnace it's actually one back so place that down there and of course we need a way to get up here as well So we have our cross shape almost there. Um, we can get rid of some of those other blocks there. And we want to place our other comparator there and invert it. Place a drop of redstone on there. There's no redstone on the other bit of that. Let's get rid of some of our construction blocks that we don't need. So now let's see, so we have that bit there, and then next we want to come across a block and have these blocks here. See, so that goes into there. Yeah, let's pop some of our redstone torches down. So we've got that out of there, and of course we need to be on top, don't we? So let's hop up here and pop that there. And then we want that going back. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll place down more of our hoppers now. And these ones go into that block. So it's a case of just crouching all the way back again. All the way along here. Yep, we're almost at the end. Let's hop back down here and then we'll use the hitbox from this comparator just to bring us back once more. Just keep crouching and aiming into the, uh, the previous one that we've placed. Uh, this should leave us with four if we've done the maths correctly. We're at the end. So crouch again. So that leaves us with four. So we've got one, two, three, four. And let's now get our input chests. Just pop them straight on. And then we know that's done. So it's one, two, and four down. One, two. Right, so that's our input done there. So let's run all the way back down to the bottom now and we'll finish placing the rest of our redstone. Let's just quick double check here to make sure that we're mirroring this correctly. So let's see, so we've got from the cross, it's two blocks and then uh, one up and that redirects that there and yeah, so along from there, from two from the cross, we want that comparator coming out there. So we've got that comparator coming out there. That's facing here. Right, so next we're going to do our redstone line coming along here. So let's get some redstone. Pop that there. And then we get our comparator. That one, uh, sorry, uh, repeater even. And then we want one, two, block. One, two, block. Block block another block and then another block and then we're going to run our redstone which is every other so one two three four five uh, yep. and then we'll stick our repeaters in uh, these ones we're not setting any ticks of delay on these ones these ones are just straight up in have I come too far along there? Let's just have a quick check. Nope, this should be all the way to the very end. So now we've got that working one, at least it makes life a little bit easier. So now we're going to go back and just drop a little bit of redstone on each of these. And then next we are going to crouch 
and place these. And come along here. Oops. It's and of course we had to get rid of a hopper as well, didn't we? Uh, let's swap that round. At least that one is a quick fix, just pop straight into there. And then we'll place that in there. Now run all the way back to the bottom there. And we will build the next layer of the diorite. As I said, the first one has to be offset. And this is due with our repeating system. Uh, and oh, we're, not, we're not actually building it on that first one at all, are we? So on this very first one, we build that up here. And we pop a little bit of redstone on there. Right, so that's right. And then that will eventually feed along here and this is the offset one and then we leave two pop that along there and I think that's correct for sending the signal all the way along so I see so we have the two tower there and then nope we haven't actually placed that in the right spot at all have we Let's clear that out. It should have been the other way around. So, so let's build that like that. And then this one, get rid of. And it should be on this one. Let's clear that. Uh, pick up more rubbish. So yeah, that, that makes more sense now. <laughs> he says. So the next part is we're going to just bring this redstone now along here and as I said before whenever it gets to an end piece like that we'll pop that down there just with the default or did we change it on that one we'll double check with the number of ticks on the other side in a few minutes spot bring that along here place another one down and all the way to the end there so now let's double check the number of ticks because we changed one of them again didn't we but now I've forgotten which one it was that we changed the number of ticks um, they have two ticks of delay on those ones right so let's run back around here. Here we go. Right, so that should be that section built. Um, is there anything else that we may have missed? We shall find out when we're firing it all up in a few minutes. Oh, we'll best have something to eat before we do anything else. There we go. Now let's have a quick look. Actually, go back to where we were and see where are we at for that section. Yep. And we'll do a quick comparison to the one that we've already built that we know works. So we've got that bit going in there. Uh, let's hop up here. Yeah, I think we just need to build the upper level. So we've got our little cross, we've got that, that pops back, and then we start by building two, and then it's the grids after that. So we want two there. Uh, I think we'll go all the way along a bit. So two there, and then that'll be where it drops down for the redstone. And uh, this is where it comes up. So if we hop on here, we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, we'll pop our redstone running along. Remember to put it on this side this time because we're doing it the other way around. And a couple of ticks of delay on that. And then we want to pop one there. And one there. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So one, two, three, four. Blank, blank, one two three four drop drop one two three four 
then we have a gap and no it's just one two yep so that's that stage done we'll just run the diorite all the way along here first shall we just got that there pop those in there and this is just mainly just to, just to separate these power lines Shot of that block. So, oop. so as we move along, we'll place these down here. So this is going to be there. Two ticks of delay. Two clicks there, and two clicks there. And we'll place another block here. No, we won't actually. No. <laughs> we then place. Actually, we'll put our redstone in first. So we'll crouch and put that in there. Then run our line down here. Oop, not crouching. Oh no, we've run out of uh, redstone. There we go. So hopefully, this will be the right number of blocks. So we've still got three redstone left. So let's now pop a block there. And if we can just hit that one there. So pop a um, block there. And a block there. And then the last one. Block there. And a block there. And we'll run our last way. So now we have one bit of redstone left. Um, which has me concerned. <laughs> it's like one of those IKEA things where you uh, you always have one left over. Uh, I think that's where I've missed it out from. Yeah, <laughs> I just haven't put one there. I, I, I don't think that's necessary at all, but just so that we've got the complete mirror on both sides, we'll do it just to be sure. So what else have we? All oh, right, hang on. Yeah, we've still got these torches here. We don't want to miss those and have a have a, a mess up like we did last time. Um, can I reach that block from here? So yep. So it's two in, one there, and one there. Now let's just have a quick scan for delays on repeaters. So that should be two there with none. So let's take a quick shifty at that one. So two there, and then the rest with none. Uh, we know the ones on the top are all right because we just did those ones. Um, let's try and hop up here. So these have all got two ticks or two clicks. I think it's actually three ticks, isn't it? But uh, it, you click on it twice to get it in that position and that's just the way I count it. Uh, so with that there and that there. Right, so let's just check that those ones down the middle have that. Uh, yes, those have been clicked on twice. So yeah, I think we're good to go. We'll sharp find out. Let's go back up here and we will get some more coal. Uh, we used it all up on the other side, didn't we? So let's hop back over here. We will steal a couple of stacks of that. And then we will get, if I remember which one of these I put it in, another stack of potatoes. Let's see if this works. So the top one is the stuff that we're doing and the, back, the small one, that is for the fuel, isn't it? So let's see if the fuel gets there. So I'm gonna watch for the flash on the system. All right, that looked reassuring. So yep, that's got fuel in. Let's just try a few of these randomly. Yep, that's got fuel. So we're happy with that. That's got two fuel in, that's got three. So th there is still issue with some of the delays, uh, but we can investigate that in more detail another day. Let's just see if now, uh, let's see, let's stick a whole stack of that in and see if the furnace fires up. And there we have it. That's our second line of furnaces all working properly. 
So next up, we're going to uh, get rid of the blocks that we're not using here. Uh, we're going to uh, do a little bit of tidy up and a bit of decoration. Okay, so for our decorations, we have chosen uh, to use the spruce wood. For the most part, I should have really put the floor in first, shouldn't I? But I haven't actually decided what we're going to put on the floor yet. <laughs> so I think there's going to be a lot of dirt here in a few minutes. Okay, everybody welcome back I've now completed the decorations in our furnace room so let's slowly walk through here and see what we've done we've kept it nice and dark we have our mob proof gate and if we hop through here <laughs> and this is it this is how we have uh, decorated our room we've kept it nice and dark just so we get the mainly from the light from the furnaces put a couple of redstone torches just to give it a nice glow got um, our andesite floor because I, 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 I love the way these blocks look on the floor but I think we might swap some of these out maybe for some uh, worn out uh, maybe some moss um, moss like moss moss covered cobble even if I can get my words out uh, we've used um, spruce wood just for the um, the arches there and that is the the dark oak for the steps and then again some more andesite up at the top we'll do something else with the ceiling as well uh, we'll swap that out for something else once I, I, I carve it out at a later date um, you see here I, I come down the steps and I put these little hatches in here and you come through and I've taken out all the torches as well just so it keeps it dark on the inside I've left this end lit up just for when we have um, the time to do our next section uh, and there's a door on either side there uh, I've put a whole load of fuel in this uh, so now we're going to light them both up and see what it looks like with everything turned on. So let's see how quickly I can get between these. Uh, I'll run through there and then we have 10 seconds once I start putting things into here. So here are the items that we're going to smelt in no particular order. Right, let's run. And quickly drop those in there. And then we'll get back out here and we'll see what it looks like when it all lights up. There we go, that's one side starting to come on. Then the timer took me to run to the other side. And that's the other side. So yeah, this looks really nice, this. Uh, in fact, let's get a screenshot. So uh, quickly capture that. So yeah, <laughs> this is uh, really awesome. We really get lots of uh, items smelted in a hurry. I'm still going to leave the little one just at the front there just for odd bits of food to chuck in. Um, as I said, the, you really need a large amount of uh, things to smelt if you're using this system. Otherwise, it'll just be the end one just gets hammered and eventually would run out of fuel if you were to do it, uh, do it that way. But I'm going to transfer most of the fuel and coal over to this side though. But uh, yeah, I really like this design. As I said, we're going to do a second part where we're going to connect... Um, uh, was it the uh, like a, a sorting system so that we can have our input and output at the top and it will feed simultaneously to both sides so when we put things in next time the whole line on either side will all light up at the same time or at least that's the plan uh, so there we go I hope you enjoyed that uh, it was a little bit of a confusing build but we got there in the end so don't forget to rate comment favorite and subscribe and I'll see you all next time Oh, just before we go, uh, I was just about to take a screenshot without uh, any of the like the hand in the way or any of the heads up display and uh, everything all turned off. Those four stacks that we put in, just in the space of that time there, it turned them all back straight away. So this is an incredibly fast system. Uh, we're just waiting for these last couple of furnaces uh, lights to go out and um, there you go it just took a few minutes just for those ones to uh, to go out so now we're gonna have to reload this again so that i can take a proper screenshot but that's a brilliant that though just to get that stuff back there straight away hardly any time delay at all just to get stacks of it done um so there we go i'll see you all next time